नमस्ते टू एवरी वन नमस्ते सर मिला दीदी गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन जी नमस्ते तारा प्रसन्ना जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर डूइंग यू एच बी थ्री एंड इन यू एच बी थ्री वी आर ऑन लेक्चर ट्वेंटी टू वे आर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ह्यूमन कॉन्डक्ट एंड द ह्यूमन बींग्स पार्टिसिपेशन when it comes to participating in the universal human order participating in human human relationships participating with the rest of nature and so on and of course the activities within the self so yesterday we talked a little bit about human human relationships um in terms of the established values within us and the expressed values which are expressed in our conduct and some indicators to see if we are there so um we also took an assignment for that but before we get to the assignment we'll talk a little bit about what is on your screen right now which we also spoke of yesterday about when it comes to our participation with rest of nature so we were talking about this formulation of human conduct we have talked of other formulations earlier but now this formulation of human conduct we're talking about values we're talking about policy we are talking about character so values has to do with the understanding part the what to do what not to do part the policy has to do with the planning the program to make how to do how to go about it and then the character has to do with the expression the behavior the work with nature how it translates outside so in the values we spoke of the various values with you know within oneself with human human relationships with you know in the participation of the universal human order and then we spoke of our participation with rest of nature and we said we have to look at two values the utility value and the artistic value utility value is the value of anything for the body so something of value to nurture the body something of value to protect the body something of value to enhance the capacity of the body for its purpose so if you look at it like for nurturing the body physical facility that would be like food for protecting the body like clothes like shelter for enhancing the capacity of the body for making it um be used rightly so we gave the example of like how we are using this zoom facility right now for um interacting from so many different states people are able to interact we are able to listen to one another we are able to discuss things as if we are all in one classroom so it would not have been possible without this technology so this is enhancing the capacity of the body and putting it to right use so these are all things of utility value then we also spoke of artistic value where we are talking about the physical facility itself how to protect it how to make it people friendly how to make it easy to use ultimately you will see that it is the artistic value that is making it of utility value isn't it so if you have the physical facility if you protect the physical facility we can use it rightly 
for the body's purpose. So, protecting the physical facility like we spoke of, varnishing the wood so that it doesn't get spoiled, uh, maybe painting, um, you know, um, trunks or things which are of iron so that rust does not set on them. We use, um, you know, iron griddles, tawas, and um, you may all be familiar, at least ladies may be familiar with um, coating the tawa with oil, uh, sort of preparing it so that rust doesn't form on it. So even after we wash it, we put a layer of oil on the, you know, pure iron tawas. Otherwise, or any container for that matter, griddle or pan or whatever, so that rust doesn't settle on it. So like that, protecting the physical facility so that it can be rightly used for the body. Um, it can be people friendly so that it facilitates this sharing, expressing, receiving knowledge, feeling, thought. So in this Zoom, if it was very hard to use, if it was um, not so convenient, if it was not possible for us to have access to it, we wouldn't have been able to use it for the body's purpose. So because it is people friendly, it is an easy interface, you can, you know, it's convenient for using. So you can use it for this purpose. Ease in use for facilitating work, making it convenient for usage. For example, we gave the example of a knife. So if it is just, you know, a knife is used for cutting vegetables, but if you had to use it just like that, it would also cut the ha hand that is using it. So we put a wooden handle to it, something that will uh, you know, make it easy to use so that we can hold it from a certain point where it doesn't hurt the hand and yet the sharp end can be used for cutting vegetables and so on. So this we spoke of utility value and artistic value. And then we went on to start with the policy part, but we'll come back to that. I think uh, what we can do is very briefly, if there are observations about um, what assignment we had given about the, um, if you go back to that chart of the values, established values and expressed values so that everybody can see them. So we had spoken about these and we had specifically asked you to check for yourself with the values, established values of trust and respect, particularly because trust and respect is a feeling we need to ensure in ourselves for all. And so we can see how much we are able to progress on that path based on our expressed value. And we also talked of the indicators. So if I have trust ensured in me, then I see my complementariness with the other. So I become complementary. That is my expressed value with the other. And an indicator of that is harmonious working together. So we are not fighting, we are not getting irritated. We are able to work smoothly. And this is possible with all because trust is for all. Then we spoke of the established value of respect. Having the value of respect ensured in me, I rightly evaluate myself and others. And so the expression of that is transparency in my behavior. That means whatever evaluation I have of myself, the other also evaluates me the same way. And that will happen only when I'm not thinking something else and doing something different. 
So this transparency in the behavior. So you see one indicator will be that I feel like the other is just like me and I'm complimentary and we are able to rightly evaluate each other. So, uh, uh, Madam, actually one example, what I observed, I have been observing and recently uh, there was a merging uh, in a, a process going on in our college. So we have Raghu Engineering College and Raghu Institute of Technology. In that merging process, some departments uh, uh, are located, uh, I can say relocated at different uh, places. So all the faculty members are told to uh, go to their uh, changed places. So people from one college, uh, faculty or staff from one college are not willing to go to the other places. And the other college uh, people are also saying we, are, we don't shift like that. Yesterday in that process, two faculty members uh, came to my uh, hall, I can say where I was sitting. And they asked me, sir, there is a merging process. Uh, we are searching for our places to see like that. Uh, they are individually searching their places. Then what I felt, madam, the difference between my previous feeling and my uh, present feeling, then I told them, anywhere you can sit, uh, anywhere you feel comfortable, uh, however, with which uh, you feel compatible, uh, you can see. But my feeling, what I observed, madam, I can, I felt, I can work with anybody. Previously, in this type of situations, I selected, uh, uh, means what, uh, with uh, selected people only. I mean to say, I used to work with uh, uh, selected people with whom I am compatible. So, I think the, uh, the trust, I improved my, uh, what can I say, the feeling of trust. Due to that only this experience will come. Otherwise, uh, I would have not felt like that. So I felt very happy so that uh, uh, I, have uh, I have improved in this uh, trust aspect. So what mm -hmm. I experienced yesterday, madam. Very nice. Thank you, yeah, madam. Thank you. It is, uh, that slowly we are moving towards the right direction. Uh, really, madam. Actually, previously, I thought uh, and I used to spend more time to with to whom with whom i have to work so he's in that way he's in this way like now uh, I, I i am amazed okay i can work with anybody what is there in it so i uh, the trust has increased madam, the feeling of trust so thank you uh, for your uh, enlightenment mm -hmm. yeah. very nice so um i think you know a lot of times or we may have been spending a lot of time thinking about, like you're saying, you know, is yeah, this person really, madam. like me? Can I work with this person? Can ah. I work with this person? And so on. And we don't think of the similarities. We only think of negatives. Yeah, and yeah. We, the differences. So once we start focusing on the self and we start seeing the other is similar to me, then I have acceptance for the other. And of course, I will not get to know them unless I talk to them, unless I interact with them. I have some interaction with them. I work with them, something like that. So eventually, I may be able to see that, yes, this is quite possible. And all those thoughts that we had about people being this way, being that way, they are a certain way. We pass judgment on a lot of people, everything outside. But we are not able to see that in a lot of ways they are similar to us. All the apprehensions that we have about them, they may be having about us. Isn't it? We think they are not easy to work with. They might be thinking, is this person okay to work with? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So nice. See? So you can, uh, we um, can go and buy, but ease, ease of use. We have, uh, we are using a, another uh, technology to ease that particular activity. Ease and use, we are talking of facilitating work. 
and work here we are referring to work with rest of nature actually yeah the, hmm. then machines machines any ah. other machine yes like for agriculture yeah instead of hmm. using a knife we are using a mixer for uh, chopping like that ah yeah that can be an example then uh, b what can be b ma'am people friendly uh, and finally expressing or receiving knowledge feeling thought uh, yeah so like this example we gave that like we are using the zoom facility no okay. for interacting for doing this work that we are doing in the morning no making effort for uh, evolving so this is rightful use correct, ah, correct we can have it people friendly because zoom is convenient to use it has a you know user friendly interface and so on so we use it if it was very difficult we may not have been able to use it so easily isn't it similarly you have many apps yes that make it convenient to interact with others so uh, you don't have to move around with big laptops you can just use your phone and um, interact of course you know these are all um, things that we may use in various ways but if we are clear about the value and if we are clear about the purpose then we can put it to right use yeah yeah facebook like all this social social media <laughs> yes thank you ma'am thank you okay i think we can go ahead we started to talk about policy so if you look at policy right now we were talking of values values was about what to do what not to do policy is about how to go about doing it so essentially you know planning it making a program how to implement it how to see the results or the outcome how to evaluate it how could how to make it better and so on the how part of doing so in that we said three things policy for enrichment policy for protection and policy for right utilization of what of the self of the body which is at my disposal and of the physical facility which can be used for the body so out of these three realization which we have put as first priority because what we already have are we using it rightly that is very important no knowing what to use it for so right utilization for the purpose of the self so right utilization of the self would be to use it for getting this knowledge and bringing it in our living so that means moving all the way from selecting tasting all the way up to realization moving up higher and higher in the activities and then um coming down from realization ensuring all our activities lower activities are coming in line with the higher activities and then bringing it in our living in the form of definite behavior so essentially purifying our sanskars so that all this whatever knowledge we gain the realization can be authenticated in living so this is um regarding right utilization of the self then if we look at right utilization of the body policy to ensure that the body is used for ensuring right understanding and right feeling in authentication in living so including the behavior work and participation in the larger order 
So we are putting the body to right use. First we were talking of the self. That I am you know, investing myself in an effort to reach realization. So far as the body is concerned, using it for this purpose of the self. For ensuring right understanding and right feeling within the self. And then using it to express this to others so that one can share this with others in our interaction with other human beings. Then in our work with nature also, using this body rightly, participating in the larger order. And then the right utilization of the physical facility so that we can use the physical facility for nurturing, protecting and rightly utilizing the body. So that it can be used ultimately for the purpose of the self. So again, you see, starting with the self, right utilization of the self, then of the body so that it can be supportive for the purpose of the self and of physical facility so that it can keep the body in good health so that it can participate. Discuss with you one small uh, problem with respect to human values. I am expecting some suggestions and solutions from you. Uh, <clears throat> I am recently uh, promoted as head of the department. Already previous head of the department is promoted as next level. Now we both belongs to same department. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, yeah, please. We, Can you please oh, yeah. read about this? Yeah. Yeah, yes, yes. Both we belongs to same department. As a previous head of the department, he wants to acting as a HOD, but he myself he wants to just to be a signing authority in HOD place. I he is not allowing me to rule the department. He wants to take entire control of the faculty. In such situation, how shall I react with him? Can you suggest me? I hope you understand my uh, issue. Uh, can you suggest me some? Is there a hierarchy for this? Like is that person your superior or something like that? Yeah, he is superior. Mm -hmm. But my expectation is, uh, I want to rule the department. But his expectation is, I'm I should be the sign signing person in place then of see, the See for I'm, us also, our expectation may not be right. When yeah. we say rule the department, uh, if we look at ourselves as a team, if we yes, see yes, yes. when we work together, the department yes. flourishes. Yes, yes, yes. So work for the department rather than to rule the department. There is, <laughs> you know, the yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, correct. Mm. You will be able to see if we have the right feeling for the other person. Yes. So he may be having many targets and many things. So he might be feeling that, you know, I have to take charge and yes, I have yes. to make sure that this happens and all that. So yeah. you can. Uh, when we have the right feeling, no, we can discuss mm -hmm. things at a more personal yes. level with the person. Yes. So yes. I would say look at both of you as a team, not as yes. competitors, yes. not as rivals. Mm. We don't have to react to him. We can respond. Mm. Yes. So whatever he is wanting you to do, you can start giving some valuable suggestions. Mm. And very soon he may note that you know, you are able to help him yes. with your suggestions and he will start relying on you, taking okay. your opinion about more things. Mm. See, right now he may not know you that well. Yes, yes. So he might be taking charge fully because he feels I better do it because who knows if the other person can do it or not. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, correct, madam. You are, you are right. What is his observation? But... Uh, 
two three times i met him i explained these areas you have to if you concentrate it will be good for the uh, it will be good for the growth of department i am i want to concentrate in these areas so both will work tandem for the department growth like that i discussed it two three times with him though i am i am discussing he is understanding me for certain time after that he is uh, coming back to previous day uh, in uh, one more thing uh, his uh, his observations are from his uh, attitude i observed that he wants to take the control of the department i need to only sign don't do any uh, initiation from your side like that his thought process this is what i am yeah um, so if these are the situations then mm. one can try to see them there are several mm. possibilities mm. um if there is a senior that we can bring in the picture and yes. have an open discussion with two three people involved yes yes as a team mm. that would be you know better so that we can discuss things at a uh, where there is a third person involved in it yeah yeah uh, that that was okay. happened yesterday that was happened yesterday uh, say one senior person uh, given guidelines uh, to both of us you have to concentrate in this area you mm -hmm. have to concentrate in this area like that they given guidelines to yesterday mm -hmm. but i am confident that within for few days only this kind of thing he will follow after certain yeah. time See, because... again now we are assuming something now this has mm. not happened and we are already having negative thoughts about it mm -hmm. let's yes, not yes, look at it like this you yes, have yes. now you have guidelines you work yes. with those guidelines yes yes mm. priority policy for protection protection of the self will be for ensuring a conducive environment and protecting from unfavorable environment so for instance this is a supportive environment this morning session is a supportive environment for all of us to be able to work on ourselves isn't it similarly if we can ensure a conducive environment for every child that they have the opportunity to get this content and protect them from unfavorable environment unfavorable environment like for instance we've only created you know so many problems for ourselves with we were just discussing facebook and internet and now that can be used for good that can be used for wrong things also so that unfavorable environment if we can have some policy for protecting the self from that so that it can work for evolution of itself for protecting the body so for ensuring shelter clothes and so on and for physical facility it would be like using it um uh, keeping it in a way that it doesn't get spoiled so storing it properly grains and so on so that they don't get you know um the quality doesn't go down and it is uh right for usage for the body then policy for enrichment would be the third priority so for the self a policy for education sanskar not just of children every child but even for the adults those who may have missed this in their childhood so um you know people for adult education like you have classes in the evenings so that adults who are working can also be involved other efforts for developing the right sanskar in society like music dance drama so we are all familiar with you know we may have childhood memories and even now in some places you have like um 
close to Diwali time. In various places, you have dance dramas about, um, say, Ramayan, no? the Ram and the Ravan, the good versus the evil, and all this. So this is helping people to relate to getting the right sanskars. So in the form of music, in the form of dance, in the form of drama, this can be um, a policy for enriching the self. Then for the body, policy for intake and lifestyle to ensure health of the body. So right now, if you see so many schools, they may not have um, timings which are conducive for, say, lunchtime, maybe at 2 o'clock. You see so many banks, you see in so many corporates. People don't have time to eat lunch at the right time. So you are creating a wrong lifestyle, which will not ensure health of the body. Similarly, for the intake, you know, what we take in. So all this is useful for ensuring the health of the body. So some policy where this can be made convenient so that people can have the right intake and have the right lifestyle along with whatever they are doing. And for physical facility, policy for production with right process and right skills. Right process would be something which has like a cyclic, mutually enriching process. So for instance, if you are using, if you are um, say uh, growing something. <clears throat> now, if it is a farm area and you have a cow or a couple of cows, it is very easy to use this cyclic process. You don't need pesticides. You don't need fertilizers. You can use the cow dung and the cow urine for um, uh, helping the helping to enrich the soil so that the plants can be nourished better. So it is a cyclic process. Nothing gets wasted. Everything is utilized in the right way. And you are also enriching nature in the process. And of course, acquiring the right skills for that. So that would be the policy for right utilization, for protection and for enrichment. If there is any question regarding this immediate question, we can take it, otherwise we'll move on. Okay, let's move on. Then we come to character. Character is your expression outside in your behavior, in your work, in your participation in the larger order. Now, this can be on the basis of the human values. First to do is, what to do is the most important, isn't it? If we don't have a clear picture of what to do, then this how to do and the expression will all not be in line with that. So first, the values, the what to do, having clarity about that. With that, how to go about it, actually how to um, bring it in living, that planning, that you know, process, that is about you know, um, your um, policy. And then the expression outside, when you're actually doing the work outside or participating, participating in the larger order or in your behavior interaction with other human beings. There, you know, we need to have this compassion. So in our behavior with other human beings, we need to ensure justice so that there is mutual happiness, which means that we are not just looking at 
our own happiness but we are also having acceptance for the other seeing the other as related to me and then when we interact with the other in that interaction we try for mutual fulfillment not just my fulfillment but the fulfillment of the other and this we can have with all we also need to fill in some of the gaps we may have created in ignorance so for instance we may have you know in the past in our interaction they may have made many mistakes but on our side also we may have made many mistakes so being aware of that and giving time for that so making effort to cover that gap to get over that gap and also giving time for the other to be able to see that and be assured in the relationship so this is also important in our behavior so for instance if the other um say even within the family if you see although we have to look at the larger picture and go outside beyond the family beyond you know the neighbors the community look at the larger picture but even within the family you will find that sometimes they we have problems in relationships and a lot of times we are harboring a feeling of opposition based on our past experience but if we see this that it is not just they who made mistakes i also made mistakes and i need to go beyond that i need to refer to my natural acceptance see from you know referring to the natural acceptance i can see that which feeling is naturally acceptable to me is a feeling of relationship and with that feeling of relationship when i interact with the other from my side i make effort to ensure justice in the relationship so that there is mutual happiness so whatever mistakes i made in the past i try to compensate make more effort for overcoming those that is what is filling the gaps created in ignorance and in my work with nature i ensure preservation of nature so that there is mutual prosperity so that i can be prosperous but at the same time nature can also flourish and which are created in ignorance so all these problems that we have created with pollution the garbage dumps ozone depletion you know um, depletion of the forests the drying up of rivers all of these are gaps that we have created in ignorance now we need to fill those gaps so it won't be sufficient just to work you know ensuring mutual prosperity and preservation of what there is but also we need to make effort for bringing back what we have destroyed so that we can fill in that gap so that would be about compassionate behavior work and participation in the larger order on the basis of human values then about rightfully acquired wealth so what is rightfully acquired wealth for instance when we work with nature so you are doing some production through labor you know on rest of nature so the physical facility that you obtain from that or if you are not directly working you know on nature but there is exchange of service so you are doing something in exchange you are getting some wealth so that is 
physical facility that you are rightfully acquiring. Similarly, you can have like a gift. Somebody is sharing the wealth willingly, happily, say on an occasion like a festival and so on. So this gift, this can also be classified in a rightfully acquired wealth. And thirdly, awards. The wealth that is given with joy for recognizing one's contribution for society. This is also useful to motivate others, to help others, so that they can also see that this is something of value and they can be inspired to work in a similar fashion. So that would be an award. That also comes under this category of rightfully acquired wealth. And then chastity in conjugal relationships. That is also part of the character. Next slide. Yes. So this is already we have discussed. Rightfully acquired wealth, production through labor, on rest of nature or physical facility, in exchange of service. This would be physical facility that is endowed with utility value for the body and artistic value where the physical facility has been taken care of so that it can be of use to the body. Gift, wealth that is shared willingly or happily from somebody who is rightfully acquiring wealth on various occasions. For example, giving to one another gifts in relationship. But one needs to be very aware that the gift or the physical facility is only a symbol. It cannot substitute for the feeling in relationship. Feelings are paramount in relationship, but in a supportive manner, one can use physical facility also for the relationship. So gift would be um, this wealth willingly and joyfully. This has also got a second benefit of motivating others to work in a similar fashion. Oh, yeah. I, actually, I am uh, I, actually a particular situation. Uh, like uh, someone is not from my relation, means uh, he, uh, he may be uh, my uh, between among um, our um, um, accountants. And I'll I'll um, um, get um, an invitation for marriage ceremony. Okay, and I am gifting in that marriage ceremony. Then will it come under a gift or a, um, award? Because I got confused with in which mean uh, I'll uh, yeah. Uh, this will be a gift. No? Gift for a special occasion. You are willfully giving some wealth to the other. So in fact, if you see some of these. Uh, customs that have been you know come about in tradition they are very mm -hmm. useful so a new couple is going to settle down they mm -hmm. will need many you know a lot of physical facility for setting up so when people come to bless them they also give some physical facility to help them set up yeah new life together so this is, uh, it would come under gift. Okay. Then award, in award definition was also like, uh, we are giving with joy. Uh, to yeah. uh, It is for contributing something special. So say for instance, somebody has done a lot of good work in terms of um, doing, say like, uh, you know, planting trees. Like there are people who have planted innumerable trees. So government or some, you know, somebody 
some organization gives an award to this person for the outstanding contribution. So okay. Like okay. That, that would be an award. Mm. 